Hello everybody, I'm here with CGG Zero Software to show you some trip and tricks. Today I'm gonna show you FFP or Facing Fluid Probabilities module in JSON Workbench. First of all you have to set up your session. You can use up to three volumes as an input. Today I'm gonna use only one volume, P impedance from my inversion result. You have to choose a categorical type. Today I'm using pay and non-pay categorical types. The vertical gate uh, I will choose uh, 200 milliseconds from the top of the reservoir. That is the green horizon. And for the trace gate, I'm selecting uh, the whole project. For the wells, uh, I'm using all the wells in the area as all of them have the categorical type pay and non pay. And also apply a high cut filter in order to have the same frequency content as the inversion. Once uh, you're done with the session setup, you go to edit, edit, and QC PDFs. Here you can click on the view wells to QC the quality of your inversion. It shows you the pin impedance in the well logs and the extracted pin impedance from inversion results and also the difference between both logs. If you zoom in you, you can see in blue the pin impedance in the wells and in pink the extracted pin impedance and the match between both. You can also cross plot uh, the pin impedance and the extracted pin impedance. You can fit a regression. If right click regressions, add a regression. You can see the correlation between both and also the slope of the line. If you have any bias on your inversion results, it will show here. You can also use the histograms of the difference between both to take into account this as an uncertainty on the Bayesian classification scheme. So here I right click, add PDF, and I fitted a normal PDF on this histogram. It updated the pin impedance uncertainty. I'm selecting a trace gate for QC. It's a trace gate passing through all the wells. And now I'm gonna add the PDFs for the pay and non pay. I right click PDF, add PDF, select the categorical type I'm using and the two categories I, I want to classify. Click on fit PDFs and do fit a PDF on, on each categorical. I can right click, edit PDF, and I can add the mean and standard deviation. Also, I can change the shape. I have we have the option of log normal, normal and bin it. Can change the mean, can change the standard deviation too. Once okay with your PDFs you click OK and you have and you can QC the classification on your wells based on the pin impedance of the wells uh, high cut filtered. Here you can see uh, the classification on this well. The ticker pay zone is being classified as pay zone. You can see the probability of pay and also the probability of non pay. You can also QC your input in the within the session with the trace gate you have chosen. Here I'm overlaying the well logs, pin impedance, uh, displaying the wells as a density, and also applying a high cut filter too. You can see the match between the inversion results and the well logs. can also QC the output, the most probable, the non-pay probability and the pay probability. I'm going to overlay the lithology in the, the wells.
and here you can see that the most probable is matching the occurrence of pay in the wells. You can also check the probability of the pay, check the match with the wells, you can zoom in, Once you're happy, you hit OK and go to Output, Generate, select uh, Output Directory and hit OK. It will generate uh, the volumes on these directors that you can display on section or do some slice and display on maps. Uh, that's it for today. Thank you for your time and see you in the next tip and tricks.